The next thing we're going to talk about in our algebra unit is solving word problems with two unknowns algebraically, so using algebra. And to explore this concept, we're going to jump right into uh, an example here. So in this example, we have a situation where uh, Taylor is two years older than Spencer. So we're given that one piece of information. And we're given another piece of information that the sum of their ages is 12. And the question is, how old are they? So, so again, this is a case where we have a word problem that we're going to have to translate into an algebraic equation. And with this word problem, there's, there's two unknowns. So to explore how we solve this, or, or one way to, to solve this algebraically, and it's important to note right away that until grade 10, uh, when you're solving word problems, you don't use two variables. So usually when we uh, are solving a word problem, we start with a let statement. And we will start with a let statement with this problem. Um, and, and you might be tempted to say, well, let Taylor's age be T and let Spencer's age be S. But uh, again, until grade 10, that's not how you're going to approach solving these types of problems. Um, at this point, we're, we're only going to use one variable. And so you might ask yourself, well, if we have two unknowns, how can we possibly use only one variable? And that's what we're going to take a look at here. So when you're approaching a question like this and you're going to solve it algebraically, you're going to write a let statement to start, where you are going to assign a variable to one of the unknowns. And so the first question you ask yourself is, well, if I could know one of these unknowns, if I was going to be given one of these p pieces of information, which piece of information would I want to know? And answering that question uh, might take reading the question a couple of times and, and really thinking about, well, if somebody was going to give me one of these pieces of information, how, w which one would I want so that I could most easily uh, figure out the other one? And, and in this case, I would say, the piece of information I would want to know is Spencer's age, because if I was given Spencer's age, then I could immediately figure out what Taylor's age is. So when you answer that question, well, what would I want to know first? That's what you assign the variable to. So that's how we determine uh, what we're going to say in our let statement. And in our let statement, we're going to assign a variable to the unknown that we would want to know first here, which is Spencer's age. So we might say something along the lines of, let x represent Spencer's age. So uh, once you've uh, determined which one you're going to assign the variable to, well, we do have to assign an expression of some sort to the second unknown. Again, we are not going to choose a different letter. We have to somehow mathematically relate the second unknown to the first unknown. And one way to do this is to ask yourself, well, if I knew Spencer's age, how would I figure out Taylor's age? Uh, so in, in other words, how would, I, how would I use the first piece of information to, to solve what the second piece of information is? Well, and again, you want to look for the simplest way to do that. Uh, in the first sentence here, we're told that uh, Taylor is two years older than Spencer. So if we were given Spencer's age, uh, the easiest way to get Taylor's age would be just to add two to Spencer's age. Now, since x is called Spencer's age, well, we know that Taylor is two years older than Spencer. That, and that would be the easiest way to solve what Taylor's age is. So since Spencer's age is called x, Taylor's age has to be called x plus 2. So and now we have what's called our therefore statement. So we started with our let statement, and we chose Spencer's age because that's the piece of information we would want to know first. And we said, let x represent Spencer's age. And then we asked ourselves, well, what would be the easiest way to get Taylor's age if we knew Spencer's age? And that would be to add 2 to Spencer's age. So since Spencer's age is called x, Taylor's age has to be called x plus 2. Uh, and again, it's because of this piece of information we're given in the first sentence. So now we've got our let and therefore statement. Uh, the next step is we have to write the equation. 
And when you're writing the equation, y you have to use the piece of information that you haven't used yet. So w we came up with our let statement using the fact that we want to know Spencer's age first. And uh, we wrote Taylor's age as x plus 2 because we were told that Taylor is two years older than Spencer in this first sentence here. So we've used that piece of information for our let and therefore statement. So w we can't use that piece of information for our equation. But when you have a, a word problem with two unknowns, you will always be given at least two pieces of information. And the second piece of information we're given here is that the sum of their ages is 12, which means if we add their ages together, it equals 12. So since Spencer's age is called x, and Taylor's age is called x plus 2, the sum of those two ages means we're adding those two ages together. So Spencer's age plus Taylor's age. And now the rest of that equation is 12. So we've translated that second sentence, that piece of information that we didn't use, into a math sentence. And now it's an equation that we can solve. Uh, as we saw uh, in, in previous videos, if there's ever any simplifying you can do in an equation, you should do that simplifying. And right away here, we've got two like terms, x plus x. Uh, the coefficient here, since there is no coefficient, we assume it's a 1. So 1x one plus 1x one is 2x. Still have that plus 2. Now that we've done all the simplifying we can do, we can go about isolating the variable. So we have to get rid of times 2 and plus 2. Since we're doing the opposite to get the variable by itself, we're going to follow the opposite of bed mass. Get rid of the addition first by doing subtraction. Plus 2 minus 2 makes nothing, so those cancel each other out. We're left with 2x equals 10. That's 12 minus 2 is 10. Uh, and so on. We've seen uh, examples of multi-step equations already. Once we go ahead and isolate that variable, we're told that x is equal to 5. Now, what we have to ask ourselves now is, well, what does that mean? And if you recall at the beginning, y you, you let Spencer's age be x. So since you're asked this question in English, y you really have to uh, give the answer in English. So our, our final step here is to just answer the question. And to answer the question, we're just translating back from math into English. So we would finish uh, by saying something along the lines of, therefore, uh, Spencer is 5, because we're just translating this back into English. X is Spencer's age, equals we can say as is. So Spencer's age is 5 years old. Uh, and then... Taylor, since Taylor is two years older than Spencer, Taylor has to be seven years old. Now, it's important to note that um, that also meets the, the second condition of our problem, which was the fact that there's the sum of their ages is 12. So uh, here, Taylor is two years older than Spencer. And when you add the two ages together, 5 plus 7, it is 12. So since it meets both conditions of our word problem, it's the solution to our word problem. So let's take a look at another example to uh, continue to explore this idea of solving uh, a word problem with two unknowns algebraically using algebra. So here's a case where we have a rectangle where the length is 2 times the width. So that's one piece of information that we're given. Another piece of information that we're given is that the perimeter is 30 centimeters. So the question is, what is the length and the width? So again, the first thing you're going to want to ask yourself is, well, if I could know one of these pieces of information, if, if somebody was going to tell me one of these things as a clue, uh, which one would I want to know first? And I'd want to know uh, the width first. Because if I knew the width, then I could just times it by 2 to get the length. So since I would want to know the width first, that's the one I'm going to s assign the variable to. So I would say something along the lines of let w represent the width. Uh, and now the next thing I ask myself is, well, if I, if I knew the width, what would be the 
easiest way to get the other piece of information here that I need to know, which is the length. And, and the easiest way to do that would be to take the width and, and times it by 2. Uh, so that's how I come up with my therefore statement. Um, since the width is called w, well, to get the length, we multiply the width times 2, or 2 times w. So we would say something along the lines of, therefore, the length is 2w. Well, now that we've got an expression for each of our unknowns here, so the, the width is called w, because that's what I would want to know first. Uh, the length is 2 times the width, or 2 times w, so the length has to be called 2w. Uh, now I need to write my equation. So in order to write my equation, I have to use the other piece of information, the piece of information I haven't used yet. And the piece of information that I have used so far here is, is the fact that the length is 2 times the width. So I, I can't use that for my equation. I need to use this other piece of information here, which is the fact that the perimeter is 30 centimeters. Now, here's where we have to be a little bit careful about our equation. Uh, a rectangle has four sides, and what we've said here is the width is going to be called w because that's the piece of information we want to know first, and the length has to be called 2w because it's 2 times the width. Well, to calculate the perimeter of a rectangle, we have to add up all of the sides. So now when we're writing our, our equation for perimeter, uh, we have to add up all four of those sides. And those four sides are the two lengths, so 2w plus 2w, uh, plus the two widths, plus w plus w. And as we're told, that has to equal 30. So the perimeter, which we get by adding up all the sides, is 30. Uh, well, now, as, as with any algebraic equation, if there's any simplifying we can do, we should do that simplifying. So 2w plus 2w plus w plus w is 6w. Uh, there's nothing to simplify on the right side, so we can just leave that as 30. And now, to get rid of times 6, we divide by 6. So that's what we have to do to the other side. And we get the fact that w equals 5. So what does that mean? Well, as we stated at the beginning, w represents the width. So if we were to translate this back into English, now answer the question, we would say something along the lines of, therefore, the width is 5 centimeters. And since the length is 2 times the width, the length has to be 10 centimeters. Uh, so if we were to calculate the perimeter there, if the, if the width is 5 centimeters and the, and the length is 10 centimeters, well, 10 plus 10 plus 5 plus 5 is 30 centimeters. Uh, so that meets the second condition of our problem, which is the fact that the perimeter is 30 centimeters. So to finish off our lesson on uh, solving word problems with two unknowns algebraically, uh, I'm going to ask you to try a couple here. Uh, so in the first question, uh, we're, we're given two pieces of information. The first one is the fact that Stephen has $3 more than Christine. Um, and, and together, so if you, if you add the amount that, that each of them has together, you, they have $21. Uh, the question is, how much uh, do they each have? Um, in the second one, uh, we have uh, a forerunner uh, that travels three times as far as a Jeep. Um, and then the total distance they both traveled was 900 kilometers, and the question is, how far did each go? Uh, so, so again, with, with each of these, you're going to want to start with your let statement. So ask yourself, well, if, if I could know one of these pieces of information, which one would I want to know? And then you've got your therefore statement, which you get from trying to figure out, well, if I knew that one piece of information, what would be the easiest piece, easiest way to get the second piece of information? And then you're going to write your equation using uh, a piece of information that you haven't used yet, solve that equation, and then answer the question. And uh, if you're able to do that for these two questions, congratulations. You now have a firm understanding of solving word problems with two unknowns algebraically.